Spinter Mendoza, and this is Real Talk. For now, I'm talking about is TV show finales. It's over. No! I'm gonna start with Parks and Recreation. Spend the whole time looking, up, trying to figure out who's pregnant. It goes from Rashida's character, to Amy Poehler's character, to finally at the very end, it comes out to be Ron's girlfriend, Xena Warrior Princess. Remember that? This is why it says he got pregnant. You got a little Xena Warrior Princess running around. Everybody's doing with everybody, right? Parks and Recreation, it's all fun and done until someone gets pregnant. Next to subject, I'm gonna go with The Office. All they really did for the season finale, they just played off the nostalgia of it. This is the season finale. It was an hour of flash flashback. Are you kidding me? And Steve Carell was only in the show for like three minutes. What the hell? I'm like, that's what I came to the party for. What I came to dance for. And where was his wedding episode at? I'm just saying. How I many weddings was, was, was in the office? Phil's had a wedding. The little redhead had a wedding. Dwight had a wedding. I'm like, really people? is all I can think of. Everybody got together and like, hey, guess what? We'll do, a we'll do a wedding episode again. I didn't even feel sad after, when it was over. I just felt empty. It was, you cheated me. You panhandled me. You cheated me, okay? Now, goodbye, office. Absolutely. Ship has sunk. I would say sell, but it didn't sell. It sunk. Next, another disappointing season finale, Base Motel. I'm just saying, you know, I love the show. Norman has a chance to go on a, on a date with a pretty girl and he Fs her off. You know, I'm just like, come on, Norman, you got a pretty girl. She picked you up, Norman. Acting all weird and stuff. I'm like, dude, for real? I'm like, dude, you dad, dad, she likes you. And, and, and what do you do, Norman? What do you do? Maybe she loves me. Maybe, 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 just maybe. No, it's not in the cards for you. She does not like you, little weirdo. And what happens? Her boyfriend knocks you out. He punched you out. And what do you do? You curl up in a ball and you submit in the corner crying in the rain. You should've killed him, Norman! You should've killed that fool! But what do you do? Boiler alert, kill the teacher. I love the show. But that season finale was wickety, 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 whack. Come on, people. Did you run out of time? Were you tired? Was it late at night? Come up with better endings, please. Or I will cease to watch your show. I'm just kidding, I'll still watch it. Movie reviews. It's a subject I love to talk about. I want to talk about Iron Man 3. Visually stunning. I was kind of angered a little bit about the Mandarin thing, you know? I'm like, you really didn't, you really didn't give us a real bad guy. Like, it's fake. Why were you not in your suit? 75% of the movie, you were not in your suit. Cut Iron Man, not Robert Downey Jr., man. You don't want to do it anymore? I don't want to be Iron Man anymore. I'm not Iron Man anymore. I can't sleep. What is this, Nine Mile Whatever you I don't know, it really didn't go anywhere for me. Really, I was, I was unfulfilled, you know, it's like a, a beautiful car, a gorgeous car, I open it up, there's no engine. It didn't go anywhere. Next movie, The Great and Powerful Gatsby. Uh, this movie, uh, once again, visually stunning. I watched it in 3D. Was it worth going to watch in 3D? Well, you shot it in 3D. I think you want to watch it in 3D, you shot it in 3D, right? This is a beautiful story. This was beautiful! It's based off the book, so you can't really go too crazy with it. If you want to see a movie with, with true heart and feeling, go out with Gatsby, okay? Jay-Z was in it. $100 bill. $100 bill. Damn, hell yeah! Alana Ray was in it. Good soundtrack about the final finally. It's about time. Modern classic. Put them together. Put them together. And there you go. A good movie. Thank you. Thank you, Hollywood. Thank you, Leonardo DiCaprio. Thank you for making something watchable. So, check it out if you want to watch a good movie. If you liked it, you hated it, give it, hit me back. Tell me what you think. What are your movie preferences? What's your taste? Upcoming movies. White House Down with the little boy from Step Up. Yeah, Step Up, a dancing movie no one watched. And Ray Charles playing Obama. Jamie Fox, did you have enough with Amazing Spider-Man 2? Yeah, I did this movie too. You and the little boy from Step Up have to team up together. Dancing is a way to protect the president. Get your hands off my Jordan! Jordan's on. I like the Jordans. It's a really, it's a really good touch. It's a good touch. Maybe it can make them run faster, jump higher. I don't know. I'm like, wow. I'm really, really not gonna watch this movie. You think you're, 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 you think you're pretty smart, huh, Hollywood? You think you trade somebody? I don't see anybody else over here. You gonna fool me? No. Cause that movie's already been done. White House Down, Olympus Has Fallen. I'm just saying, let me, let me give you some examples of this crap that Hollywood does. Exhibit A, Friends With Benefits, No Strings Attached. Two movies about friends that do it. There's a rift because they're like, I wanna be your boyfriend now, or I wanna be your girlfriend now. No, it's not gonna happen, okay? The Grudge and The Ring. Two for the price of none. It sucks. Save your money to watch one. They're about the same. Come on, Hollywood. I don't wanna watch that, man. Gravity, starring Sandra Bullock. And Keanu Reeves. There's a bomb on the shuttle. I wish it was like that, but it's not. 
it's George Clooney and Sandra Bullock, and they're, they're fixing um, their spacecraft or whatever. Boom! It blows up. Ah! And she's like, "Can anybody hear me?" It's like open water in space. Sandra Bullock for three hours and thirty-two minutes lost in space. Will Sandra find love in space? I don't know. Drew Clooney is over there doing his hair. It looks pretty interesting to me. I'll see, I'll see what Sandra does. You know, is the little blind side, is he back? Does he save her? Sandra, I'm gonna be looking out for you, girl gravity. So I'm gonna check it out. If you gotta check it out, what would you think? Movie of the week. What, what movie of the week? What movie I picked is a 1980 classic starring Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour. A man that desperately wants to go back in time. He does without time machine. Beyond obsession, beyond fantasy. Time itself. Check it out. Tell me if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit me back, baby. I'm Ben Ter Mendoza. This is Real Talk. Thank you for watching. Stay clear, Houston. Like I know that you will. Whoa.